going on, folks? Dave Mate. Another Mind Pedals presentation. Demonstration. Concentration. Little background music. Never hurts. A little bit of Yerba Mate in the system. Yerba Mate on the mind. So I was just having a mate circle, and we were discussing potential fear and prosperity. We were discussing how everybody is ridiculously powerful, more powerful than most people could even imagine. Certain figures. A good example would be someone like Steve Jobs. He, at an early age, recognized that power wasn't an external force. He understood that power was generated within and then radiated out. So the trick is... Number one, to understand that. And number two, not to let barriers prohibit you from, and this is where it's most important, from exercising that. Because basic understanding of being a human and living in this world it's very obvious that everything you see has been created by somebody. And it's so glaringly obvious that in some cases it becomes ridiculously obscure. So most people don't put these two things together and say, well, wow, well, somebody wrote that book. Well, somebody had to design this car. A person like Henry Ford had to come out into this world and say, hey, why can't I build a car for America? So let me throw together some scrap parts and just make it happen. Which turned into the largest car company, I think, in the world. Someone like, let's say, Tesla, who was like, whoa, well, we could emit energy and communicate with other people from around the globe without having to physically be there. And such a mode of transmission could also inherently carry information with it. So with that belief, so came the radio. With that belief, so came a deeper understanding into what electricity really is. Even though we still don't know what it really is. But it opened up the door to such a investigation. You see, we have to be careful when we're dealing with this thing we call society. Because this very thing that in so many ways is, is, is a good thing. In terms of providing a set of understandings in which people can live by to kind of get through life without killing each other. It's kind of like every time you get on the highway, believe it or not, you trust everybody pretty much because at any given moment, somebody could just crash into you and kill you. But how often does that happen? It doesn't really happen that often because everybody accepts uh, a level of trust amongst one another. But on the flip side, and everything has a flip side, society could set up certain systems in which you feel that you are not powerful and that power can only come from what is given to you. So the more that you think that I can only get power when it's given to me, the more in a cage that you're going to feel comfortable. And we all know that if you put an animal in a cage long enough, that cage eventually becomes that animal's home. And in time, that cage becomes all that animal knows and comes to accept. That cage becomes that animal's reality. Society is such a brilliant system that 
it gives you certain things to keep you in a certain way and not to think about expansion. So we have many people who, let's call them comfortable. Comfortable with how things are. Regardless of the dreams, regardless of those little whispers at night, regardless of those inherent talents that need to be expressed to manifest your own mission, regardless of that, they stay sucking the bone. They stay safe and protected within a false system of protection. But those that break out of this always meet resistance. But that resistance must be gone through in order to receive the rewards. So, again, to go back to Steve Jobs, at 30 years old, once he was ousted from his company, he was already worth hundreds of millions of dollars at 30 years old. He could have said, okay, let me go buy an island and have everything I could ever imagine and want for the rest of my life on this island. But he didn't do that. He started a new company, which he eventually sold back to Apple and subsequently took over the board and became CEO again. And soon after, he became a billionaire with his deal with Pixar and Disney. So he didn't stop because he couldn't stop. Because once you get a taste for this understanding that you can really create what you want, then in a good way, you become very gluttonous. You just want to eat and gobble up this truth every single day because you're free, essentially. And once you're free, anyone that gets a little taste of freedom will never go back into a cage. Thank you, guys. This has been Dave Mate from Mind Pedals. Make sure to drink your Yerba Mate. Circleofdrink.com Peace.